Epic Games is currently killing every game that is not Fortnite. Don't believe me? Look at the state of their number two game, Rocket League. It's been the sad state where the only updates the game gets are mostly just reskin cosmetics or all the fear of missing out items. There's no communication to the community unless it's about these said items. And while the game has massive problems like smurfing, they are not addressed and instead of adding anything actually new to the game, now they are removing part of the game. Trading. Epic Games is currently taking a deep dive into a pit of despair. With the company laying off 16% of their entire workforce, Epic's holding company down 20% in the last 5 years, the Epic Games Store losing CEO Tim Sweeney hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and public perception being the worst it's ever been. What went wrong with Epic Games? Tim Sweeney was born on- yeah, I don't really care. Yo, I'm not doing this, dude. I'm not doing this. Let's just skip to the shit people actually care about. No, I'm not showing my Johnson. Over monetization, over monetization, bro. I've been trying to say this word for 30 minutes. Over monetization is the reason why Epic is failing, or at least Fortnite is failing. Before you'd be like, but Twan, Fortnite isn't failing. It's actually succeeding. It's making a shit ton of money for Epic. It's 85% of their total income. And that right there is the actual problem with Epic Games infrastructure in the first place. A lot of times, these companies have one main game that is their money maker, right? When you sold rely on one game to bring in 85% of your revenue, aren't you gonna try to monetize the shit out of that game although it doesn't need it at all? Fortnite doesn't need Peter Griffin in the game to make money, they just like to collab with every single company like Lego and Disney. Who plays the Lego Minecraft shit in Fortnite? Nobody. Now nobody plays it, it's a, it's a dead zone. But hey, as long as Epic gets that bag, right? As long as they collaborate with fucking Goku, dude, then... <laughs> The point I'm trying to make is when you only focus on one game and heavily monetizing that one game, annoyingly by the way, like they have so much shit that's just straight up a cash grab. And every other game that they should care about and could make them a lot of money, they just push off to the side just to focus on fucking Fortnite. And it's been, how long has it been since Fortnite came out? Epic should probably stop trying to milk every single cent out of Fortnite and try to make a new Fortnite so they don't have to rely on Fortnite night making 85% of their money. Speaking of financials for Epic, let's talk about the amazing Epic Game Store that lost in 2020 to 2021 400 million dollars for Epic Games. If you don't know what the Epic Game Store is, basically it's Steam but 10 times worse. Very terrible interface. I've probably one of the worst interfaces I've ever seen and it's extremely slow for no reason. I don't even know why it's so slow. It's just very slow. Only thing that the Epic Game Store does do is is that it does give game developers more money. For the consumers, there really is no point of using the Epic Game Store because it's really bad. And I'm really anti-monopoly and pretty much every sort of gaming space, you know, I'm anti-monopoly. There should be no monopolies in gaming because history has told me that competition makes games just overall better. With Steam, there really is no downside to it having a monopoly because it's not like I'm paying for the service. Like if I was paying for Steam, an Epic Game Store was cheaper or something thing then maybe i would use it but steam is a free service allowing you to buy pretty much any game so there really is no downside to them having a monopoly when in the epic game store it's literally just for tim's we need to get money and it's actually losing him money which is pretty funny the Epic exclusive games that they're paying millions of dollars to get are terrible. They are awful games. Pretty much they're games that no one really cares about. Overall, exclusivity in gaming is not a good thing for games. When Spider-Man releases only on PS4, everyone on Xbox is left like, I would have bought the game, but it's not on my console. These companies like Sony and Epic give these games millions of dollars just so they can have it as an exclusive deal. But in the long run, if your game is really 
really that good, shouldn't you just release it everywhere so everyone can play it? You're losing so much money in the long run because you don't want to release your game everywhere when it would have millions of copies sold more. Millions of dollars up front is a great thing for game developers to solely release on a platform. But if you have true faith in your game, you'll just release it everywhere because in the long run, you make a shit ton of more money. Especially if you're only releasing on the Epic Game Store, you're pretty much just killing the growth of your game. So many more people use Steam than the Epic Game Store. It's pretty much a joke. They also have crypto games on the Epic Store. Anything for a bag, Epic. I mean, anything for a bag. In conclusion, Epic still win because losing hundreds of millions doesn't matter if you're worth billions of dollars. Well, at least in the short term. Long term, they might be very, very screwed. Their $32.5 billion valuation might just be inflated because you can easily manipulate that number as explained in this Reddit post. But that money is draining fast, so fast that they're laying off jobs because their CEO is too scared to admit that the Epic Game Store failed and he should just abandon abandon it. Realistically, they probably will not do that. They probably won't abandon it. Everyone's just gonna keep ignoring it, acting like it doesn't exist. Epic Games has completely sold out and are struggling to find a solution to their inevitable downfall. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing.